Hi, everybody, and welcome back to today's episode of Make It Monday. And today we are going to be starting a new series here on Facepalm Studio where I'm going to be going over Blender tools, shortcuts, and modeling workflows. Um, we're going to be doing these on Mondays because that's where I get to make it, and it is Monday. So it works out. In today's video, we are going to be going over um, one of the add-ons that I'm going to be using to be able to show you guys um, my screen capture uh, for the keys and hotkeys that I'm using in Blender. Because one of the big things while you're working in Blender is um, utilizing uh, a lot of different shortcuts uh, to be able to accomplish what you're trying to model. So um, I am going to show you guys how to install, uh, it's called Screencast by, it's called Screencast by Nutty. And it is a overlay tool in Blender that we'll be using to be able to show you guys um, those different hotkeys and how to be able to uh, use those in Blender. So let's get right into it. So first things first, when you're in Blender, you uh, when you're looking to install an add-on, you're gonna wanna go up to, this is Blender, here, let me open up the splash screen again. This is Blender 3.1. Um, this is one of the newer releases. Um, so when you first open Blender, this is the screen you're, you're gonna be getting. And so you can either just click away or you can just start moving in the menu. You can hit general. It'll open up the basic window. Um, we will not be deleting the default cube in this video. Sorry, everybody. Um, but for what we're gonna start doing, we're gonna come over here to the edit menu, which is up here in the top left-hand corner. Um, we're gonna come down to preferences. And then I already have the add-ons window open, but the first thing you're gonna be seeing is interface. Um, so what we're gonna come down to here is add-ons and um, there is an option here to install. So now we actually have to go to the GitHub page for this, which I'm gonna lay a link in the description below because it took me a little while to find the correct one. So I'm gonna try to help you guys out without that face palm. So let's go in here um, to the Screencast Keys GitHub page, and we are going to download the zip file for this. Um, the zip file is what's needed to be able to actually install it. Blender looks for the zip file instead of it looking for um, just the exe or like the release file it will package it all in one which is really nice um so i'm just going to route this over really quick to my blender folder and my add-ons and i'm going to say save so now here we are back in blender we are looking at the blender preferences page in the top left uh, the, 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 in the top right hand corner we're going to hit install and then we have to route to the folder where it's going to be going um, by default, it's looking for your C documents folder, your C users documents folder. Um, but since I have Blender installed a little bit differently, I like having my plugins in a different spot. Um, as long as I know where they're at, that's the most important thing. So we're going to go ahead into my working disk. We're going to go into Blender and add-ons. And we are going to grab screencast keys and I'm going to say install add-on. And now it is already searched for it and it's filtering it. All we have to do is enable screencast keys. And in this menu here, we get to control a lot with it actually. It's very nice. So I'm gonna enable it on startup. Right now the color is set to white, which is probably what I'm gonna leave it to for now. I might play with it a little bit based on feedback. Um, and you get to increase the font size, the line thickness, um, margin, the mouse size. So because it's gonna show you key clicks and the mouse, which is very nice. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to increase the history to seven. I'm going to increase the font size to like 25. Um, line thickness should be good. Mouse thickness, we're going to put up a little bit more. Okay, so now if we click over here, you're going to hit, um, there is a little arrow over here that brings out another menu, um, but it gets a little finicky. So the way that Blender does it is if you hit N on the keyboard, it's gonna bring out this side menu, even though it's hidden here. I can't ever figure out how to get it to come out by itself. So we're gonna hit N on the keyboard, that's N like Nancy, and it's going to pull this menu up. And then there's gonna be a screencast keys icon box here now with your overlays to be able to adjust this, just like the settings menu that we had on um, in the preferences. So now I'm gonna turn screencast keys on and you'll see here now in the bottom left hand corner, I'll just hover over it here, control. So you can see here when I'm hitting control, the icons are coming up and the mouse is showing up here for you guys. So if I navigate around the screen a little bit, 
um, you'll see that it's picking up the different keystrokes and things that I'm doing. So that'll save me if I'm trying to like explain things for you guys, as well as me just trying to be able to help get this up and working. So I'm just gonna scroll around here for a little bit so you guys can kind of see. Um, let's say here that the font is a little small still. So if I wanna bring the font up so you guys can see a little bit better, cause it really doesn't affect your workflow unless if you're getting like super high poly, it doesn't, it's not really in the way. Um, if anything, it just kind of remember, helps you kind of get a feel for those um, tools as well. Um, so actually I'm gonna drop that down a little bit, but I want the mouse size actually a little bigger, I think for the sake of the recording. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So do I want a shadow? Let's just play some of these settings here. Oh, actually I do like the drop shadow on that. See, it's the, it's the little aesthetic things that Blender knows how to do, but okay. But yeah, so that's how you install screencast keys. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything that you wanna see in Blender done, um, we will be starting a modeling series where I'm gonna be modeling some basic assets and be able to show you guys how that works. So make sure you guys turn on, tune in on Make It Monday to be able to uh, follow along with that series. Um, I'm gonna be trying to explain things the best I can. Um, I am nowhere near professional, but I did go to school for it. So I have some background. So hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy. Um, yeah, that's it. That's going to be it for today's episode. So everybody keep creating, save the pain. I'll see you guys on the next video.